We are halfway through the month of December, and now is the time to check in with ourselves. How is our health doing? How is your loved one's health doing? How is your neighbor's health doing? I want everyone to know that all of our bodily dysfunctions and illnesses can be healed. And it is knowledge that gives us the power for a lifetime of disease prevention. In this video, I want to share the most needed knowledge on obesogens to save the health of humanity. Obesogens are man-made chemicals that completely disrupt the way that fat cells behave and function. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end of this video because like always, I'm going to provide the exact solution to protect ourselves from obesogens. Our body creates body fat to preserve energy to be used during fasting and bodily activities. The main function of fat cells is to store energy to be released when needed. Obesogens trigger the body to create new fat cells, and they also increase the storage of fat in existing fat cells. This is why so many people can't lose weight no matter how many diets they try and no matter how much exercise they do. Obesogens block fat burning. They disrupt fat cells so much that fat cells can't release its stored energy anymore. If your body can't access its own stored body fat to be used as energy, the fat stores will never go down. This is why we see the pandemic of insulin resistance, diabetes, hormonal imbalances, thyroid dysfunctions, and so many more chronic diseases of today's world. Obesogens also impair the hypothalamus, the part of the brain that controls appetite. The hypothalamus releases hormones that signal hunger and other hormones that signal fullness and satiety. Obesogens directly harm our ability to know when we are done eating. This causes compulsive eating, and this is a major reason why we are seeing so many chronic diseases that we did not see 30 years ago. I want you to know that the rate of obese infants under the age of six months has increased by 73% since the 1980s. This is because of babies' exposure to over 300 chemicals in the umbilical cord. Obesogens, obesogens, obesogens. It is in everyone's highest health interest to become extremely knowledgeable on obesogens. The first line of defense against obesogens is to know exactly where these chemicals are located. They are found in baby toy products, plastics, and an assortment of household consumer goods. Over the past nine years, I have been a high level toxicologist and me, my family, and my clients have the perfect ability to protect ourselves from exposure to obesogens. And I'm going to make a part two a follow-up to this video to discuss how we can detoxify our body after exposure to obesogens because the first line of defense is to avoid obesogens and the second line of defense is how to eliminate obesogens out of the body stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to go into detail on the most profound life-changing detoxification practices insights and principles that will uplift the health of humanity. And you can support the health of humanity by liking this video, leaving a comment down below, and making sure that you subscribe to this channel. I'm Jalen Holmes, founder of Generational Health, and now you are equipped with the awareness on obesogens. Stay tuned for the next video for obesogen detoxification.